and he said this time round we must have elections held before 15th March. <laughs> before 15th March this year we shall have elections done. State Minister for Local Government Jennifer Namuyangu made a pronouncement at a dialogue on local governance in Kampala organized by a policy think tank, the Advocates Coalition for Development and Environment Accord. But the minister was non-committal on the exact date of the elections. But I want to assure the country that we on course, we are going to have these elections done, and I'm happy that the council of Asariwa, President Jenu, Jema, has confirmed they are going to participate, and they are mobilizing. We will continue to advocate for electrosanity, electrohygiene, Thank At you. the same time, preparing to be in the process. Thank you. The Director of Operations in the Electoral Commission, Leonard Mulekwa, even as time ticks the date of the LOC1, LOC2, and Women Council elections, government is yet to release the 10 billion shillings for organizing the elections. As I said, I cannot give a precise date. One, until I receive the funds from the Minister of Finance, we cannot give a date. Failure to prepare signifies that you are preparing to fail. So here we have a government saying on the 15th of March, we are having the election. Before the 15th of March. Is it true that 15th of March is next month? Is it true that we are talking of less than 60 days? And the preparations are manifestly inadequate. So we are really planning to fail. At the dialogue. Opposition leaders and civil society activists oppose the mode parliament chose to vote the leaders by lining up behind the candidates. To put the candidates and the voters in such a situation of awkwardness due to this cumbersome process would be undermining our commitment to international treaties and also undermining the constitution. My wife is lining behind him and he denies me victory for only one vote, which has been my, my wife's vote. What will happen in my family there, down? I will say it standing up. <laughs> That's for sure, as women in this country, we are tired of violence. In the 1990s, I was elected as a chairperson LC1 in Kawempe. And one of my opponents called Domenico, his own wife and children lined up behind me. But never, they never killed each other. There was even no domestic violence. The aggrieved are threatening to sue government if it insists on lining up mode of voting. People are not free. There is a new influence. Under this proposed mode of lining up, it is very unlikely that they will be free, fair, and credible. The issue of mode of election which is being presented now was resolved in 2015 during the 9th parliament when they changed the law. Local council elections were last conducted 15 years ago. Government has been claiming lack of funds, but there was also a legal challenge to holding elections under the multi-party dispensation from the previous movement system. We have a regime which doesn't care about anything else other than regime survival. And I suspect the problem is not because of lack of funds. Jingo Francis, NTV, Weekend Edition.